Typically our firefighters will be practicing on a daily basis putting out um, fires on the fire rig, responding and then driving around. However, it's really good to do a multi-agency, so what do, I, what do we do, what do the ambulance service do, coast guard, uh, fire, police. So as you can see here, this is just an incident that puts tests everybody. Um, so we've done the first response, then you had the Isle of Man fire that have come pretty quickly to, over the, to help the teams. You've then had the ambulance service who I think are currently having a look dealing with some of the, the walking wounded that are coming off and then the police etc will be making sure that everyone stays safe so again it just puts tests everybody. We'll do a debrief at the end of it to work out if there's anything that we can do better and then hopefully should anything happen we'll be in the best place possible to be able to deal with anything that happens. An aircraft has come down and crashed which we're simulating it, it's split into multiple parts so the first part which has been tested by a fire rig. It was the bit that was on fire, so the airport fire tenders came out and put that out. You've then got another couple of sections with um, walking wounded and people who are seriously ill. After a period of time, the local fire teams arrived on site, so Isle of Man fire, and they're currently in the process of uh, rescuing, triaging, and taking survivors uh, through to the survivor reception center up in the terminal. So today's exercise was a, a multi-agency response to, to deal with a, a major aircraft incident at Runsway Airport. Uh, it was how, how we, the airport fire service initially respond to that, but in order for that for, to, to come to a safe conclusion, we absolutely require the Blue Light Services and other partners to come to this major incident and to fulfil and, and help deliver on the exercise and any given incident. So far it's, it's been a really worthwhile exercise, there's always learning um, that will take place from this and any learning identified we'll look at then throwing, reviewing those um, learning objectives and we'll maybe look at updating our response plans, uh, we'll tabletop exercise them before we actually then roll them out into, a, into our fully endorsed emergency response plan. So this is an aircraft of with 48 people, could have 72. Heaven forbid if it was one of the easy jet 319, 320, it could be 155 passengers. So again, that would be a real test of emergency services with that many injuries, deaths, casualties. So again, putting it into practice to make sure we know what's happening and how it all works so that we can just basically push a button and then deal with it should it happen in real life, heaven forbid.